Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in open collaboration with my good friend Annie from Indiana Jones and I am going to be making some glam Halloween DIYs. Now I'm showing you my existing decor that I already have that I've either got from Home Goods or Pier One or even my local grocery store. And I want to make some decor to go along with what I already have. And I will be doing three projects today, and then tomorrow I will show the other two. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make some candles for my candelabras. Let's get started. I'm going to be making six candles out of the used toilet paper rolls here. And all I'm going to be doing is ripping this like so. I want to make it shorter in the front and higher in the back. And I'm going to be doing all of these at different heights. What I'm going to be doing is making this look like there has been wax dripping on here for a long time. So I'm going to be taking my glue gun and achieving that look. Just going to be running the lines down like so. And I actually have to do this like three times because I want to keep layering it on top of each other to make sure that you get enough. And you know, you can use this on the battery operated candles if you want to, but I didn't really want to uh, ruin the ones that I already had by having them, you know, be for Halloween. But if you had some extra ones, you could do that. And then, of course, uh, I'm going to be painting all of these black. I'm going to go along the edge here a little bit more. Okay. So now you can see how it kind of looks there. This is how it looks once I have all the hot glue on there. And I'm just taking my bristle brush here and I'm just doing a dry rub with just some white paint just to bring out the details of the hot glue. So I'm adding this lightly on here and I'll be going around the whole candle with it because if I need to I can add a little more white to it. As you can see the white is making the details pop out already and I think it looks like wax. All right, so I'm going to get the back side done too. And I have five more of these to go. Let's get a little bit more on here. Okay. I think that's about enough. All right, look at that. Isn't that cool looking? Now, we got to add something else to them. Here's how they all look. And I have these little discs that I cut to fit inside. And I have these LED battery operated candles here and they flicker. I got these on Amazon and I painted them uh, black. They did, I found some in black, but they're a lot more expensive than the white. I was able to get a lot more white. So I decided just to paint these black. And I'm just setting these in here just so the candle has something to sit on. All right. My next project is this pumpkin here. I have two of these. And I'm going to be painting it black and white. This area with all the glitter, it's got uh, that really thick pieces on it. I'm not sure exactly what you call it when it's really... Uh, textured with the glitter and uh, more like little beads is what it reminds me of on there little tiny ones so um, I'm going to paint this section black and then the orange is going to go white and I'll paint the stem black and the leaf white so here is how it looks right now and what I'm going to do is take some black glitter and instead of using Mod Podge because sometimes that uh, dry so quickly when I put it on. 
but I'm just taking some of my black paint and I watered it down just a little bit and I'm going to go back over these sections here and just make sure that it is super wet. Okay, and then I'm just going to throw my glitter on. Isn't that pretty already? So all the black except for the stem is going to have the glitter on it. Okay, so now I've got all the glitter. Look at that. Look how shiny that is. So I need to add some details to my leaf and my stem. So I'm just taking some of the black paint and I am, it's actually watered down a little bit. Just going to brush it on. I'm going to take a little piece of paper towel here that's just a little damp and I'm going to rub it off. Just trying to bring out the details on the leaf because it does have, a, it's dimensional. And I'm taking some of the black paint here and also going over the sections, just like so. I'm going to take a little bit more off. I didn't really like the way that looked. All right, let's uh, try it one more time. You can use a thinner brush. There we go. That is much better. Okay. And get this last one there. Just add a little bit more. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that off of the leaf. And I think that looks really pretty like that. And just brush it on a little bit more. Okay. See? Now I need to... Uh, do the stem. As you can see, I took a little bit of the black paint and just rubbed it on the white. And now I'm taking my brush with the white and going over the stem. It too is dimensional. So I'm just going over the lines. There we go. Let's go around the thing. And on the top of the stem, too. And a little bit more there. Okay. All right, so now I need to let it dry because I do need to uh, spray these so the glitter doesn't come off all the time. So pretty. All right, now that it's uh, dry, take a few pieces of the glitter off. It kind of stuck on there. You can see that looks like this. And I'm going to take some of my clear gloss spray. I normally use this matte, but since uh, I use the gloss white paint, I want to make sure that I use the gloss spray. Okay, so now it's been sprayed, and I'm going to embellish it. I have some of these black feathers here. It's on this trim, and I've just cut a few pieces off. And this is some of my lace here that came off of here. I'm just cutting it in between the flowers. You can see. And then I have some pearl strands off of my big roll here that I have. And I'm just going to hot glue all these on. The first thing I'm going to do is hot glue on, whoops, the pearls first. So let's get that going here. I'm just going to put about halfway right now on the one section. Press it down. We've got glitter stuck on there still. I don't know how that happened. Okay, let's put the rest of it on. And a little bit more down here. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to continue on doing these. Then we'll go to the feathers. All 
All right, so I have all these on, and here are the pieces of feathers, and these are gonna go over the white sections. So I'm just gonna hot glue these on. Let's go around the whole pumpkin here with them. And one more. Okay. So now I want to put the little lace pieces with the pearls and that's going to go over the black section. And I have five of these to put on. And see it's looking pretty already. I just felt like it needed to be glammed up just a little bit more. And let's get the last one on. Okay, now I could stop here, but I feel like I need to fill in some of these spaces with some more pearls. And so I'm just going to take some of my little pearls that I have with different sizes, and I'm going to hot glue them in between just to fill up this uh, the area of the feathers. First I'm using uh, one of my bigger ones and we're just going to go in between all the lace pieces on top of the feathers. Okay. And then I'm going to add some different size ones throughout on top around the stem. All right, so as you can see, I have done more of the pearls. I think this looks so pretty. Now let's go on to the next project. So my last project here is going to be with these Dollar Tree pumpkins that I have. And I'm going to remove the raffia bow here because I don't need it. But I'm going to be layering these two so I get a nice big pumpkin that is dimensional. So the first thing I want to do is just take some black paint. I'm going to paint the stem. We are going black and white with this. And I will paint the edges here. And I'm just going to do a little bit around here, not the whole pumpkin. Because I am going to be using some scrapbooking paper on the back of this pumpkin here, or actually the front of this pumpkin. But I don't want to do it to the the far edge. I want to show a little bit of black so it looks like the pumpkin's outlined. So see it's going to be like that and then the paper will just be in that section there. Alright, so everything is dry and here is this cute scrapbooking paper that I printed off. It's not very scary or anything. I think it's kind of cute with the spiders and the spider webs. I'm just going to use my Mod Podge here. I'm going to put it on the paper. You can either put it on the paper or on your wood. Let's get this all Mod Podged up pretty good. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of line it up here where you just see a little bit of the black, like so. Need a little bit more there and there. And a little bit there. Okay. And now I'm going to do the other side. Okay. Try to make sure we're getting up on here. And we're going to line this one up over here. There we go. Okay, tack it down just a little bit. And push to make sure it's smooth. All right, so there's how it looks so far. Now I have my other pumpkin here that I've painted and I'm just gonna use my E7000 glue here. I can't find my bigger two of the, the E6000 that I have, so I'm just gonna use this one. Make sure I get a lot of glue on here because this uh, 
comes out pretty thin with this one, so it has a fine tip on it. Okay. And we're going to glue it on like so. Line it up. And then I'm going to put my clamps on it because I'm going to have to let this dry. And I'm just going to let this dry overnight and work on other projects. So get this clamp down. Okay. Now that it's all dry, I will have to paint the back there. I printed off these other designs. And I like this little squiggly line here. Just going to Mod Podge it on. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the wood since these are smaller pieces to work with. And then this one, I like a, it looks kind of French country. It's got uh, that look to it, but there's bats on it. But I still think it looks pretty. I'm not going for anything scary here. This is more of a pretty uh, pumpkin to me because we're going to make it really pretty after we get all the paper on it. We'll get this last piece on. Okay, here we go. I want to put something right there below the stem. So unfortunately, you know, I couldn't find my black flowers. I thought I had some black roses, but I guess I don't. So I'm going to paint these. And um, so the salmon colored ones are going to go black and the yellow one is going to go white. I'm just going to get these all painted. I'll paint uh, the whole thing. And I am using just regular craft paint that I've just watered down just a little bit. Let's get this all painted. I feel like it's like Alice in Wonderland painting the white roses red, but instead I'm painting them black. <laughs> all right, so I have those done. And I did put a little bit of white on the tips. And here I have this mesh that I got from the Dollar Tree. I think it looks like snow. That's why I bought it. But I think this will look really cute on here. So I'm just scrunching it up, taking a little piece of wire and twisting it around. Okay, I'm gonna spread it out. And I'm just gonna cut it, kind of rag it up just a little bit. And I do have two pieces here. I already did one of them. And you can see I have some feathers and I also have some uh, black leaves too that came off of a pick. All right, so let's go ahead and do some of these feathers here. This is that trim again. Just trying to figure out where I want to put it. Kind of place it here first to see what I want to do. Let's cut this piece off there. Kind of like that. I'll cut a little bit more off. All right, and we're just gonna hot glue it on. Okay, I'm gonna take the little mesh thing here, one of them, and hot glue that on top of the feathers. Make sure I get a lot of glue on here. And press that down. Then I have the leaves here. I'm gonna hot glue them down. And this just came off of a Dollar Tree pick. And then some more of the mesh on top of that. And we'll go ahead and tuck these in too. And I decided not to use the other rose that I painted white because it just wouldn't go white. It stayed a creamy color, even though I used white on it. So we'll skip that. We'll just use these roses here. You can see I did the, the trimming of the white, so you got uh, that little bit of white there. Okay, gonna hot glue these in. I think this looks really pretty, but I think I want to add just a little more white to it. I think I'm going to add some pit berries. So here are the pit berry pieces from that garland that I showed before, and I actually had to paint this part uh, black because they were brown, 
And I even had to paint the berries white because they were more of an off-white. So I'm just going to hot glue these into place. I decided just to use two. I guess I can always add more if I want to. We'll just start with two. And kind of twist it here a little bit. Okay. And let's figure out where I want to put the second one. Tack that in there. Oops. Put that back on. All right, let's get that in there. There we go. Twist this just a little bit where I want it to sit. Okay. There. I really love how this one turned out. And you know what? I wanted this to uh, stand up on its own. So I had a picture frame that I took the pattern off of here. It's just two pieces of cardboard glued together. I painted it black. And this is a hinge that I had. I just hot glued it on. All right, so I have two more projects to show you that will be tomorrow, and you'll get to see how all of this is styled with my existing decor. I want to thank Annie for hosting this Halloween Palooza open playlist. I do have the link down below, so make sure to go check out everybody else's uh, videos because you don't want to miss what everybody else has done. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with part two. Bye for now.